Welcome to Budapest guys, uh, one of the best places in the world to me, actually the best place in the world. I want to talk to you guys about being too nice is not nice. Did you know that? I don't know if you know that. I do. There's many guys walking around believing that they can be so fucking nice and that it's the nice thing to do. But in essence, it's actually the wrong thing to do and it's actually the mean thing to do. It's so crazy how we've been conditioned to believe that being really, really, really nice is the best thing to do when you actually don't want to do it. You know, you feel like you're doing somebody a deed. You feel like when you're meeting people that you should only behave like this. And that if you behave like this, in some way you'll be rewarded. But what's the reward from being overly nice? What is the reward that women have given, given you for being overly nice? Have they given you the reward of sex? Have they given you the reward of true love? Have they given you the reward of being someone that really values who you are as a man? I guess you can answer that question based on what's been happening for you so far in your life. The one thing I've noticed particularly is when it comes to men who are being overly nice, who are being too nice, is that they are totally disconnected from what nice is. They're totally identified with what people have fed them to believe that nice is, and they're totally disconnected from what it merely means. So to clear it up for what it really means, it means this, what that I would say. <clears throat> It means being sweet, loving, empathetic, in all the words that fits, that fits with that. Even me, I, I just said those three words and there's so many other things that a person may say that nice means. But the thing that I'm getting you to understand is you need to become clear in what does it mean for you and stop so much leaning on what you've always been told that it means. Because if you keep leaning on it, you'll continue to keep getting the results that you're getting. It is not nice to others when you're manipulating them. If you want to know what you're actually doing, it's that you're manipulating others when you meet them. You're consistently trying to control them. And a lot of guys will really be in reaction to this. They're like, no, 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 I'm not trying to control anybody. I'm actually trying to make them be themselves. I'm trying to give them a chance to know that it's, it's, it's great to just be alive and be... No, you're not doing any of that. What you're really doing is you're stripping people away from the chance to get to know you. You're only giving them a chance to know the parts of you that you feel that are accepted. You're only able to show others the parts of you that people have told you that are okay for you to show. And as you become attached to these parts that people have told you that are okay to show, what happens is you're only ever just those parts when you meet people. And as you're walking around as these certain parts that people have told you that you can be, now people only know those things. So when they're interacting with you, they only expect certain things from you. They don't expect the unknown. They don't expect spontaneity because that's not your character. Your character are the things that you've allowed yourself to be living ass that everybody has told you that's okay for you to live ass and it's not nice man it's not nice for you to do this to others but more importantly do you know what it's not nice to you probably guessed it it's not nice to yourself what you want is not to walk around 
and be this be the epitome of what total to niceness is that is not your ideal life that's not your ideal of being in other eyes that is not what you want but you've allowed yourself to continuously be this so what's the issue the issue is You. You're the issue. <sighs> you know, in making all these nice guy videos, I really hope that I can break through to you guys to understand that when you're being incredibly nice, when you are trying to totally be in front of somebody, and be all what people have told you you should be this is not being nice to yourself the issue is you you're not being nice to yourself you want to be nice to everybody but to yourself why why do you want to be nice to every single person on earth but you want to treat yourself like shit you want to make sure everybody on earth is taken care of but when it comes to you doesn't matter. You know, eventually for me doing all these great things, it'll come across to people that I am a great person. You know, I'll, I'll eventually get the girl who's amazing and beautiful and, 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 and that loves me for me. Eventually I'll get that, man. Because that happens when I'm constantly going through life and I'm being totally nice and too nice to everybody. That happens. So I'm cool, man. Everything's cool. It's peachy king. But is it really? Would you say that it's really peachy cane? Or are you hoping that it will work out for you for being like this? This is a hope that you're leaning on. You're leaning on total hope that one day your efforts, everything that you've been doing will pay off in great deed. And what's the great deed? Love, sex, adventure, spontaneity, you becoming much more alive, people really, really enjoying your presence. You just becoming this fantastically open, spontaneous being from all these things you've done. That is the payoff that you're hoping for. And I have to tell you that this, this magical world, this magical fantasy that you're hoping for will never happen. It will never happen in this way. It will never happen in a way that you are totally hoping for. Everybody hopes for everything. As you're hoping right now for your deeds to be paid off in these many different type of arenas of life. It's not going anywhere. You know, I love so much that I've gotten a chance to break out of believing that one day it'll all just fall into place. One day, through all my deeds and all the things that I'm doing, one day it'll just all fall into place and everything will be cool. But what a lie that we've been told. What a lie that you've been told. Who can you honestly say, think about it, who can you honestly say have done this? Who can you say? Have just done everything that they can to please everybody around them and have benefited so greatly that a woman saw it in an amazing light and she just wanted that guy she wanted to just have have that man in her life you let me know who it happened to <clears throat> don't tell me about the movies let me know in real life who this happened to and you introduced me to that man because I'll be like great bro you're the one out of one billion that is gonna happen to you're the one out of one billion it's gonna happen to because shit don't work like that. Because as you're doing that, 
as you're just allowing yourself to just constantly not be nice to yourself you'll keep getting dealt the shit hand on everything the women that you bring into your life will be a shit hand the friends that you bring into your life will be a shit hand the way people treat you day to day will be a shit hand it'll continuously show up that everything you're doing is not benefiting you it'll continuously show up but why are you not noticing the cues the cues are constantly there can you give yourself the chance in the vision to notice the cues noticing the cues is really about being able to go what am I not seeing that I need to see because everything that I'm doing right now is bringing into my life everything that I don't want so how can I start to see this differently how can I just allow myself to just notice that which I want and to stop being so identify with and at the whims of what I don't want even for me it just drains me to think about how many times that I've seen guys playing out these behaviors that they don't want to play out and believing that that's going to lead them to something in the end you know it, it saddens me as well it, it makes me you know very sad to just believe that guys have been pulled in the wrong direction in life have been pulled in the direction of you know I almost got hit by a car. <laughs> have been pulled in the direction of hope. And a false promise. The false promise promise being that everything that they're doing right now is gonna lead them to something that they want. And it's a false promise. And everybody's living it out. Most guys are. You look around, even guys may be in relationships, they're living out a false promise. Because underneath they're thinking, okay, this is not everything that I thought it was going to be. Why is it not everything that I thought? How come when I'm in front of women, it's not everything I thought? How come when I'm in a group of my friends, this is not everything that I thought? If they would just know that in life, things can be different when you make it different but how does it become different you have to become different so you are the cause of you not being able to bring things in your life that you want the women that you want you are the cause of this that's the issue it, until you understand that you being too nice is not something that's going to bring you anything you want until you understand that you'll always be where you are but the moment that you start understanding that this is not actually leading anywhere for me I'm not being nice to myself I'm being nice to everybody else and I'm, I'm pleasing them and I'm trying to benefit them but I'm not being nice to myself I'm not totally being with myself and nice to myself when you come to that place of being nice to yourself this is when you can understand that shit in life is different because you can be different so what would I say is the step for you guys to be able to be different I would say the first thing that you must understand is and know is that everything that you're doing right now to be too nice to others is not leading anywhere that you want as I've said many times when you come to this knowing in yourself 
and it may require you looking within yourself and going, okay, what are the times where I thought I would get something from doing something that I didn't want to do? Where, where are the times where I was doing something and I was overdoing it in front of a woman and I thought I was going to get her validation on me being a nice guy or get her validation on me being a man that's worthy? And as you look at these times, I just want you to notice how did you feel? How did you really feel underneath? Because the first thing is, oh, I felt good about it. But I go, no, no, no. What did you really feel underneath the feeling good about it? Because when you felt good about it, that was the ego hit. That was the little shot of ego hit that you got. And as you get this shot of ego hit, everything seems good. But for some reason, it's not sustainable. So you feel good for a moment, and then the next moment you crave for that same thing. That's the first thing that I want you to do. The next thing that I want you to do is that I want you to just within yourself slow down just take notice of the part of you that's there and that's more than just an ego hit. Slow down completely. What I would say, when you're doing something, come to physical stillness and allow your breath to be natural and normal. And as you come to physical stillness and you're with your normal breath, just feel the part of yourself that knows what it is that you want. Because you don't need anybody else to confirm to you that you know. What's amazing about us as human beings is that we know things that we try to find the answer for. We know. But we're afraid of that knowing because if we know, then in some way maybe that means we're arrogant. In some way, maybe that means that we think we're too much or we think that we're too good. This causes people to become modest. Same here, I used to be the same way. A knowing is not anything to do with you being superior and others being inferior. A knowing is just a naturalness to who you are. And this knowing is when you just settle in yourself. Become physically still and settle and feel the part of yourself that knows. <laughs> knowing is simple. So feel the part of yourself that's simple. You know, I, every single time I walk up to a woman, I'm constantly trying to make this woman like me. What do I know? I know that when I walk up to some women, they won't like me. But I also know when I walk up to some women, they will. And right now, I know that I'm scared to even go find that out because if I go to have to find that out, they may have to be faced with that reality. You know that you're afraid to go do it. You know that right now you're scared. You don't have to fake it. You know that you want to go talk to women. You know you want sex in your life. You know that you're also afraid to go out there and put in the work to do it. You know that you're putting in the work and that you want an outcome but maybe you're afraid of something else along the way maybe you're afraid of really expressing your feelings along the way but you know these things there's nobody out there who can let you know what you already know you just are always looking for confirmation on it but as you look for confirmation watch how the things inside of yourself start to well up because somebody may say to you Accept yourself as you are right now, totally and fully, 
That's everything that you're feeling right now and that you are. Just accept it and watch how you unfold. For some people, that is enough for them to be able to break into the moment. They're like, oh yeah, I do accept myself. I've always been everything that I am right now. I can never be more than right now. But I'm like, he already knew that. It's just that him being afraid to settle into right now made him never know that. But underneath a person's fear, they know. And I challenge you to start to honestly come to the parts of yourself that you already know. I love women and I want to have sex with as many women as I can throughout my life. That's where I'm at right now because I just came out of a relationship. I know this. Maybe you think that's a bad thing. I honestly feel like that, I honestly feel in some way that that could, that could be a bad thing because maybe I'm just out for my own selfish desire. It's okay to feel that. It's okay for you to be like, I know this, but at the same time, I feel bad about it. Great. Feel bad about it. But you, what you'll notice is that you only feel bad about it because you believe that somebody else will lose out because of you. Or somebody else has the, is having the shit in a deal because of you. But no one is. Knowing is already there. But it's up to you to find it or not. Look into your life and look into your psyche when you have time. Introspection is very important for man. Look and see what is it that you've been having this false hope for that would eventually happen with your life and women. Just come to the knowing that it won't happen unless you change, unless you become different. And a way for you to become different is to honestly look at yourself and align with what you know. Know that you want this lifestyle. Know that you want women in your life. Know that you want love. You want affection. You want to spend time with women. You want to be able to express your feelings. You want somebody to be able to love you for who you are. But at the same time, you want to be able to love somebody unconditionally. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe what you want is just fuck as many women as you can for three years. I don't know what it is. You align with it and you know that you want that. Just know that everything that you're looking for, you know. Stop sending people off in the wrong direction because you're not being nice to yourself. Come all the way back to your own knowing. I know that when I'm in front of people, I don't want to talk like this. I know that I don't want to be like this because I'm not being nice to myself. It's a journey. And the more that you can let go of what you hope and what you believe will happen, the more you can, can connect with this moment and what's happening now and what you can control. I have a product coming out from Nice Guys and Mask and Man. And I talk so much in this product about being able to not let go of these nice guy ways that just don't serve you. And as you let go of these nice guy ways, these two nice guy ways, by the way, being too nice, something else arises. Masculinity becomes what's present. I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm going to enjoy this day before I go into Easter tomorrow. Happy Easter to everybody. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new and it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.